Hey guys, um, so this week what we are reviewing are functions. So I figured I'd start with the definition and a function is a relationship where each input, the x value, has only one output, which is our y value. Okay, so um, there's different ways you can see a function represented. One is called a mapping diagram. And so what we're looking at here are how the arrows are going from oval one to oval two. Okay, so you have to pay close attention. This one's easier because they're just straight across. So we have negative one and you see it's only paired with zero. Zero is only paired with one. One is only paired with two and two is only paired with three. So this one would be a function. When you look at this example though, you'll see that one has two arrows coming out from it, meaning that this one is paired with negative one and negative three. So that's why this one's not a function because you look at the input oval and see if any of these values have two arrows coming from it. <clears throat> we also have graphs and um, I think graphs are easier because all you're looking at is to see um, can you connect anywhere vertically, meaning up and down. And so anytime you see, whoops, <laughs> anytime you see a diagonal line, you know that it, whether it's going up or down a diagonal line is going to be a function. It's actually called a linear function. Um, and here you'll notice with this one, um, you see this little dotted line that normally wouldn't be there, but that's just to show you that in this function here, this little curve, um, it's going to connect vertically. So this would not be a function. This, of course, is a function. Um, it is a diagonal line going down. It's not going to connect vertically anywhere. And this one would be not a function because on this circle we could draw vertical lines everywhere and there's going to be a lot of connections. Okay, and um, when you have a table, a table might be the easiest one because all you have to do is go to the x value column and see if any of your numbers repeat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing repeats. Check this is a function. Okay, so here though, we'll notice that our ones repeat, so this one would not be a function. So when you look at this one, is this a function or not a function? Okay, if you said it is a function, you're absolutely right. Um, the x values, they do not repeat. And then finally, we have our list of coordinates, and you're thinking the same thing. Do my x values, um, do, do they show up more than one time? And so when I look here, my x value is always the first part of the coordinate. So we have 3, negative 8, negative 9, negative 3, and 7. Nothing repeats. Um, so you're good to go and you're only looking at your x values so this is what we're going to be reviewing all week long our functions